First and 15. Nice pocket here. Has to step up now. Gets away from pressure from Gaines. A flag comes in as he scrambles to the 40 to midfield. Hit by Floyd. He's got 16 yards and a first down if this holding. is not holding. Offense, number 77. 10-yard penalty. Hi, I'm Andy Benoit. This is your All-22 Divisional Round Playoff game coming up for the Rams on Saturday. We're going to take another really close look at something the defense has had a lot of success with lately. This was the drawn holding foul from defensive tackle Greg Gaines on the Seahawks game Saturday. It's a big play in the game. It put Seattle into a first and 25 situation, eliminated a Russell Wilson scramble. We're going to get to the holding part and what Gaines did in a second, but we want to start with the coverage on the back end. It's the same concept we learned last week. It's cover six concept from the Rams cover two to one side of the field and then cover four down to the other and typically the cover two sides on the shorter side where that ball spotted but the Rams they reverse it they go cover two up top cover four down below it's part of what makes the Rams tricky we're going to look at these cover four guys right here their rule is basically if anyone comes into their what their one fourth area of the field they play that guy man to man and they designate that typically a defense will designate it by if this guy crosses the line linebacker level he's now in Ramsey's area of the field Ramsey essentially has a man-to-man -man. that's the theory so look at Ramsey react here to DK Metcalf he's going to own him man coverage and that's the first part of this play right here is the reputation of Ramsey because there are quarterbacks that would make this throw right here and hit DK Metcalf you could argue he's open but because of who this is and what we've seen him do before Russell Wilson was not comfortable with that look and so Ramsey with an earned play from a great season and then John Johnson on the other side, he understands, all right, there's only one guy down here. So my guy who's coming into my one-fourth, he's going to be coming from the three receiver side. So I have, I have to have eyes over there and be alert. And the guy who does come, it's Tyler Lockett very late. So back it up just enough. It's Lockett right here on this really deep over route that Johnson hunts up late. The reason Lockett was so delayed in crossing the field, Seattle was smarter. They realized, all right, well, if the rule is these guys play man coverage once you cross the linebackers or they all lock their assignments then, well, let's send him past the linebackers and maybe John Johnson will assume someone over there is going to take Lockett. And that's what they were hoping John Johnson would do. Johnson's eyeing the quarterback though. He's watched the film. He's seen this before. He takes away this deep crosser. But what he did before that was really where this play became special defensively. Watch him. He's watching Wilson. So he's just being a football player at this point. While he's waiting on Lockett, watch him take away the in-breaking route here to Metcalf. I'm backing up, backing up. Now I'm going to drive on it. Nope, I'm backing up again. And that little action from Johnson, watch him plant like he's going to drive on it. That's what encouraged Russell Wilson to pull the ball down and move in the pocket. He didn't feel he had anything. Johnson basically covered two guys right there. And so we jump to the end zone part and we see Greg Gaines who works his tail off on this play. He's the one that does the cleanup work because of what the coverage did on the back end. Draws the holding foul, which is every bit as good as a sack. And this is great defense. So often we think that, oh, that penalties are just mistakes made by the penalized team. Once the ball is snapped, penalties typically are created. In this case, great defense created the penalty. Greg Gaines works his tail off. John Johnson discourages a Wilson throw. Ramsey, because of his season and his reputation, he discouraged the throw before that. All of this working in unison is what created the first and 25 conundrum for Seattle on Saturday night. That's it for this week's All-22. I'm Andy Benoit. We'll see you next time.